Hey, what's going on summoners? My name is Nathan Ng, and today we're going to be looking at 15 pay to win skins. Usually skins are meant to be only a cosmetic change so that you can customize your champion to your liking. Unfortunately, some of these skins offer insane advantages such as a smaller looking hitbox, confusing skill shots, harder to see particles, smoother animations, and much more. Well, we're going to be diving into a few of our favorite pay to win skins as well as what makes them so strong. So let's not waste any more time and dive right into the video. Starting us off strong, we got the infamous Project Ash skin. Any pay to win skin list wouldn't be complete without her. The skin offers amazing visuals, a changing model, great visual effects, and unique voice lines. As a skin, it's honestly really well made and is well liked by many Ash players. That being said, it is notorious for its W and R hitboxes. With the skin, if you W, its max range fades away and nearly seems invisible, which will let you get some extra poke in as enemies won't expect it. However, the biggest benefit of the skin is her ultimate. When Ash sends her arrow flying, it's nearly impossible to dodge with the skin, as its hitbox is so hard to read. This arrow can fly right past you and will still connect halfway through, it honestly feels like a Nautilus hook. Next up on our list we've got Infernal Shen. This Shen skin is honestly one of the higher rated skins due to its beautiful chromas and overall amazing effects. While Shen doesn't necessarily have any bad skins, this one is even better than the rest due to its pay to win nature. It offers really hard to see visuals that can catch enemies off guard, specifically with his ultimate. Since the enemy can't see when Shen is coming, they'll often stay on whoever the target is, and Shen can get 4-5 man taunts. A lot of his other particles can be difficult to see as well, but the biggest game changer is his ultimate, so don't underestimate the skin. Bonus points if there's a card that's on the same team, since the enemy can't tell the difference. Moving on to our next skin, we've got Space Groove Blitzcrank. While the skin is already one of Blitz's best skins, it gets even better when you realize how exploitable it is. This skin portrays Blitzcrank and two cats named Blitz and Crank. Together, these cats pilot an iron golem that they can go ahead and hook their way to victory with. Cute skin aside, Space Groove Blitzcrank offers a really broken and pay-to-win mechanic due to their emotes. During their taunt, it replicates the same animation as if you were throwing a hook. This lets you run at champions like Ezreal, use a emote to force their dodge, and then use your actual hook. It's a fairly niche mechanic, but it can be used on strong things like Santa Brown's Recall or Warring Kingdom's Katarina. Introducing us to our third pay-to-win skin, we've got Cosmic Lux. This amazing skin offers a really nice change to Lux's ability and gives him a celestial feel. Alongside this, her animations feel far smoother than her other skins, which will be an upgrade to all her classic skin users. The real pay-to-win aspect of the skin is how hard her abilities are to see. Plus, since they all look like stars flying towards the enemy, it's also hard for them to tell the difference in the projectile. If you're looking for a smooth skin with a nice benefit on the side, don't skip out on Cosmic Lux. Before we continue on to our pay-to-win skins, we want to remind you all to check out ProGuides.com. With our new $7.99 monthly subscription, you can take your gameplay to the next level with some brand new courses and bootcamp content. If courses and lessons aren't your thing, don't worry. We have challenger level coaches available 24-7 to help you out. As a member, you'll even get a 10% coaching discount. So what are you waiting for? Go check us out and join the Pro Guides family. Nonetheless, let's not waste any more time and dive right back into the video. Pulling us back into the video, we've got Spirit Blossom Ari. Similar to Cosmic Lux, this skin feels extremely fluid with all her abilities and basic attacks. Besides its quality of life changes, it also offers misleading abilities. This is especially true with Ari's charm, you can often hide its animation simply by using your basic attack or moving forward thanks to how her model moves. There's honestly a ton of reasons to pick up the skin, but the fluidity as well as a hidden charm are the best too. Moving on to our next pick, we got Sea Dog Yasuo. This is still a relatively new skin, and it's a pretty good one for what it's worth. That being said, it offers a huge advantage thanks to his third Q. While most pay to win Yasuo skins hide his third Q preparation, this one makes this tornado really hard to dodge. When thrown, it looks like a weird spin that makes it look like it's moving around. It also doesn't help that it looks a bit thinner than the other tornadoes. This will catch enemies off guard and get you a few free kills. Next up, we've got Forecast Janna, which is an underappreciated skin. With Janna's new visual update, her abilities all look a bit nicer and they even added an indicator so allies know where her tornado is headed. Similar to Seed Dog Yasuo, Forecast Janna reworked tornado can be really hard to track. Not only are they hard to dodge normally, but with this skin, it spins around and has random objects flying inside of it. Compared to our other skins, it really is the only one that has this unique effect. It could be because it's one of her few legendaries, but not even the prestige cyber halo does this. On our next pay to win skin, we have Firelight Echo. This skin was inspired by his arcane appearance, and it offers a nice change to Echo's usual blue tones and swaps them to green. The issue with this is that a lot of Summoner's Rift's backgrounds have greenish undertones that can make it very difficult to see the skin's ultimate clone and his W. Echo can make massive plays with these abilities, and if he catches an enemy with either one of them, they're dead. The later the game gets, the more impactful these types of picks are, so it can quite literally be a game changer. Now before we move on, let's not forget about our favorite pro guide tradition. Today we want to ask you all, what is your favorite League of Legends event? Personally, I like the Project Skinline as well as the Rooftop event for Vayne. The Star Guardian PvE event also deserves an honorable mention. Regardless of what your answer may be, let us know in the comment section down below what your favorites are and why. 
Nonetheless, let's dive right back into the video. Pulling us back into the video, we've got High Noon Leona. Being one of the newer skins and being a legendary, it's to no one's surprise that this is an extremely smooth skin. All of her abilities feel very fluid and impactful. It honestly makes the other Leona skins feel pretty bad. You'll be starting to land those flawless auto Q auto animations on wards and champions alike. On top of these OP quality of life changes, her particles are very difficult to spot. This is especially true with her ultimate, which can be very difficult to see during fights since it's dim compared to her other skins. Plus her E looks way smaller than it actually is, which is a problem for the original Leona, so don't imagine how strong it is with this high noon skin. Honestly, if you're a Leona main, pick the skin up for how smooth it feels, you won't regret it. Next up on our list we've got Mecha Kha'Zix, which is a pay to win skin for a single reason. For all our Kha'Zix mains out there, we're pretty sure that you know this, but with this skin you get a decently loud audio and visual effect on isolated targets. Not a single one of Kha'Zix's other skins do it quite like this one does. While you're prowling around, if a champion crosses your screen for even half a second, you'll hear it before you see it. Plus, if you're somehow unsure if a champion is isolated or not, the sound plus target on them will make it very easy to notice. On top of this, Riot gave this old skin Chroma so you can actually customize it to fit your favorite color scheme. Moving on to our next pick, we've got EDG Zoe. Being one of the championship skins, we're not surprised at how cool the skin can be. Its effects are really nice and the bubble displays a trophy when it lays on the floor. That being said, it is very difficult to see Zoe's abilities with the skin, especially her E. As it flies through walls, it blends into the fog of war's dark edges. If it's ever sitting in the river, the trophy effect may look cool, but its 3D effect makes it very hard to tell where the bubble really lands. Overall, it's a pretty cool skin that's worth buying regardless, but these hard to see effects just make it better. Speaking of hard to see visuals, Dark Waters Vladimir takes a kick on being quite possibly the hardest skin to see in the river. While it's honestly really hard to tell if this ultimate hits you or not on land, it's definitely impossible to see in the river. The deep blue effects match the tones in the river, which can make Vladimir's all-in combo really difficult to see. If you end up facing somebody with this, be sure you check your hotbar to see if you were tagged by his ultimate before you end up getting popped. Before we continue on to the end of the video, climbing can be hard and sometimes you'll need some help or somebody to play with. If you want to join an amazing community of people like you that loves lists, talk pieces, and other things like this, check out our Discord using the link found in the description. So, what are you waiting for? Join us! Pulling us back into the video, we got one of the few skins that quite literally claims a pay to win skin list, and it is Vandal Gragas. While this skin isn't necessarily anything beautiful or effect changing, it has a massive advantage. It is one of the only skins in the game and the only skin on Gragas that allows you to hide combos and animation cancels. With the skin, Gragas can hide his Q and R inside of his W auto animation, as well as W turrets in order to hide his full combos. Only the most experienced of Gragas players use this skin. While it does suck that it's not as flashy nor as pretty as his other skins, it's honestly pretty crazy how much the skin can do for how little it costs. Next up on this list, we got Elderwood Bard. This skin is Bard's release skin and it's pretty nice overall. That being said, it doesn't compare to all of his other skin options now. What keeps it in the top, however, is the fact that his Q never seems to miss. While normal Bard's Q looks like a big hitbox that can be extended massively past its target, Elderwood shoots a thinner, more precise looking projectile. Think of it as basic Bard's Q seems more square, but Elderwood seems more rounded on the edges. This can lead to Qs that never seem like they'd ever land, which is not only strong, but extremely frustrating for the enemy. You'll win both the mental game and the trade with the skin. Last but certainly not least, we've got Dark Star Karma. This skin is top tier thanks to its chromas offering great color versatility and customization. Plus, if you love stars or any of the celestial being lines, then you'll enjoy the skin's black hole inspiration. It offers dark attacks that mimic a star releasing energy and consuming all around it. With how dark the attacks of these abilities are, it's not necessarily hard to see, but it's hard to tell between the normal Q and the empowered one. They have the same animation, the same audio, and the showing that she has her mantra ready is fairly slight. This may not give a massive advantage, but it can really psych out the enemies and can be frustrating to play against. And that sums up our video for today. Don't forget to join our ProGuides family at ProGuides.com. We offer exclusive giveaways and classes that you won't catch anywhere else, so stay tuned and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you guys back in the next video, but don't forget, stay safe, stay healthy, and have a wonderful day. Peace.